have some things <laughs> to discuss. Hi, you guys. This is my move-in day. It's currently October 28th. I just got the keys to my brand new apartment. I feel like we have so much to explain and I'm just gonna apologize now for the echo in this video because I just know it's gonna be really bad. So we're just gonna begin at the, the start of the story. I feel like you guys have had a little bit of a sprinkle of where my head's been at. The last couple of videos that you guys have seen, I would mentioned I wanted to move back to my old apartment, but I never really mentioned the why and to be honest with you, I'm terrified to post this video because some of like the worst hate that I've ever gotten on my channel is because everyone thinks that I'm moving for content. And I just wanna clarify right off the bat, I'm not moving for content. Am I going to film what I'm doing in the moving process like I film every other thing in my life? Yes, I am. If you don't wanna watch the moving videos and you're over it, you can just click out of this video now and we're all good here. But if you wanna come along for the ride, get inspired by like my organizing and process, then welcome. I am gonna show you guys the apartment after I explain some stuff and I think that it's a little bit obvious. I am back in my exact old apartment. I'm actually the exact same floor plan and everything. I'm just a floor above. So I'm enjoying right now a little bit of a better view. That's not what I was expecting. So let me just rewind a little bit and give you a story time. I was graduating my nursing program in August and I received a letter from my current apartment building asking if I wanted to renew my lease. The deal was if I were to renew the lease by the end of that month, then I would get a month free of rent. So they gave me some sort of like concession for renewing doing early. That definitely got my wheels turning because if you guys have followed along on this journey, I lived in this apartment building from August of 2020 to July of 2021. At that point, I had just found out that I had gotten into nursing school. My whole life was flipped upside down. I was not sure if I was gonna renew my lease or not. I decided that instead of having to make the decision with all the other craziness going on in my life, that it would be the best for me if I moved home for six months and reevaluated where I needed to be and also at the time save money. That was a great financial decision. I was home for six months. I saved over $10,000. I was able to be with my parents like one last time. It was fine, but of course, by the time winter rolled around, I was ready to get out. In December of 2021, I moved into my apartment that I currently living in now that you guys are used to seeing. It's an amazing spot. It's actually a really great location. The amenities are insane. When I first moved in there, it was in the middle of ski season and I am honestly like half here during ski season because I am there like three to four days a week. I really delayed setting that place up. I was waiting for my furniture. It was dark, it was rainy. It had, you guys will know what I'm gonna say, the really disgusting concrete exposed ceilings and accents, which just didn't really make the place feel like home. First five, six months, I really wasn't that happy there. Like I was enjoying it, it was fine. I was happy to be independent on my own again, but I didn't feel like it was worth it and I was paying a lot of money for rent. Then fast forward to the spring and summer, the weather gets nice. I start making a ton of friends in my building. I'm having my friends over, We're really breaking it in. It's decorated, it's ready to go. I was a lot happier there. And so when I got this letter asking if I wanted to renew or not, it put me in a really hard spot. I instantly needed to reevaluate my life plan, which was almost impossible because I had no idea what my life was gonna look like. I literally was not even graduating nursing school. I wasn't sure if I was gonna pass the NCLEX on the first try, what trips I was going on, where I was gonna be, if I was gonna start working, like I had none of this figured out. Sometimes in your adult life, you're faced with so many of these crossroads where you come to a point where you have to make a decision and it has to be happen really fast. So what I did was I actually came for a little drive and I came back to my old neighborhood and I spent a couple hours here walking around. I got a snack, I sat on the park bench, and I really thought about where I see myself in the next five years and what are my goals. And on that goal list on the next five years was me in a house because I've talked about this forever. I'm manifesting this. I will have a house before I'm 30. I'm so determined. I want Doug and I to make it our little project and get a fixer upper, transform it and call it home for a long time. That is my ultimate goal. And then I thought about how I'm gonna get there. And I thought about how much I pay for rent, which is is absolutely ridiculous. It just wasn't worth it to me anymore. I looked at my happiness with all of these superficial things, a shiny building, glamorous common area versus saving 
saving money. And then at the same time, I reached a point where I wasn't making as much money on YouTube, which was fine because my focus has always been on all of the things that I love. So I was being pulled in so many different directions. And all of a sudden I was going out to dinner with my friends and I didn't even want to order a margarita because I was trying to be so budget conscious. I realized that that's not necessarily how I want to live my 20s. I should be able to go out with my friends and order what I want within means, obviously. I'm not talking about like spending frivolously. It was just like every time I pulled out my wallet, I felt this like strain of, am I being smart? Am I making the right decision? It was a burden to me. I hate having that guilt. I hate having buyer's remorse. And all of a sudden I was starting to develop that. I thought about my long-term goals. I weighed my options and I decided what decision would I make if I wasn't posting my life on YouTube. And you know what? I decided to live back here in a heartbeat. I loved it, it's happy, it feels like home. Katie and I have built so many memories through one of the hardest years of our life through 2020. We were actually able to make the best out of it because of this apartment in particular that truthfully felt like home. It was there for me through all of the highs and lows of applying to schools, feeling so lost and like finding myself again. This feels like home and I am truthfully so happy here that why would I pass up an opportunity to save over $500 a month? And when I did the math, I was like, all right, $500 a month I save, that's $6,000 a year. And in two years, that's gonna be $12,000. Let's say I'm even able to save a little more. I stay a little over two years. We're talking like, $15,000, $17,000 just by this one decision. Honestly, it seemed worth it to me. I could redo a kitchen for <laughs> that much money. There's so many other things that I would love to do in my life too, besides even saving money for the house that I would be able to do by living in this apartment. <laughs> that is basically where my head was at and why I decided to do this because I feel like it's the smart financial decision. And although some people may say, oh, she's taking a step backwards or she regretted moving or she just wants to move for content. Content. I truthfully know in my heart that I am moving here because it feels right. This is what's right for me in my life. I'm so honored to have you guys a part of it. And so many of you have been really supportive of my decisions and understanding of where I'm at. The truth is, is that when you're young, you move a lot, you know, you don't know what your life is going to look like in a year. And it's so hard to predict. How can you make decisions when you don't know the place in life you're going to be? And I have zero regrets. I love that I was able to live in my apartment that I live in right now. It has provided me the opportunity to live in the heart of the city and experience city life. And I don't think that I would be able to go into buying a house so young without a little bit of regret that I'm missing out on some big opportunity to live in the city. Some people love the city, some people hate the city, and some people it's just not for them. And I think that I am a person who really enjoys the city, but I don't know if that's where my home base needs to be as I'm about to approach another really challenging year of my life where I'm I'm gonna start work as a new grad. Feel so like fresh that I don't belong. And the last thing I need is to live in a home that I feel like I'm unhappy in. I'm here to stay. You guys know that Doug absolutely hates moving, but he volunteered himself to help me move into this place because he loves it too and he knows how happy I am. You best believe Doug is most likely not gonna move me again. So I'm gonna be here for over years. That is the long story of why I decided I'm moving. I'm trying to think of other questions you guys would have, but if you have a question, please comment it down below. Please be like understanding and kind in the comments because I truthfully am really nervous to post this. Also, this video is like coming a little bit out of order. I guess the other part of the story is this. I decided to not renew my lease in August. The past couple months, I have been in contact with the property managers of this building and they knew what I was looking for. We were keeping an eye out. I had text alerts. So any second an apartment would pop up, I was able to just jump on it and hopefully apply. Well, this happened to me a couple times that I ended up losing the apartment because I simply wasn't fast enough. Right when it came down to it, I had a really hard time making a decision if I wanted to move or not, especially because the timing was gonna just be a little bit hairy. Like when you leave one apartment and try to move to another, you have to give the 30 days notice and there's a, this weird crossover period, which is basically where I'm at now. It's the end of October right now and my lease at my apartment currently is not up until end of November. So I have a one month crossover where I'm basically not gonna move for another month and I just wanna enjoy my building and the hot tub and the people and where I'm at location wise before I like 
dive into the big moving process, which I'm so not looking forward to. I'm gonna have to double pay rent, which I kind of expected. Honestly, my rent was gonna go up $300 a month if I went month to month at my current place. So I knew that when this opportunity came up and this apartment became available that I needed to jump on it. Now, was it a roller coaster of emotions? Yes. Is it hard to be excited to move into an apartment with the exact same layout? A little bit, you guys know I love decorating. Part of me doesn't want to like make it look identical to what it was. I want things to be different. I want to find a better place for things. I obviously have some new furniture, so I'm going to have to prioritize things because I'm losing over a hundred square feet. Although this apartment looks really big on camera and it feels big because there's really nice floor to ceiling windows. I'm on a corner unit, which is unreal. The lighting has always been creme de la creme. It's a really small space. I know the main furniture fits and actually when the furniture's in here, it does tend to feel a little bit bigger because you're amazed at how much you can fit. The kind of funny story about how I got this apartment, which is the same layout of my unit before, I thought that would never become available. I had applied for an apartment in Hawaii. I was gonna tour it like a week and a half after I got home. My dad and I got here. I had done the application, I was approved. We toured the apartment and it ended up being an urban one bedroom. So it wasn't a full one bedroom. It was super dark inside. Windows did not go all the way down to the ground. There's a lot of things that I was just very unhappy with. We decided to wait. Two days after I lost the apartment, it was so sad. I get a call that someone had vacated this unit without giving notice and it was mine. The roller coaster of emotions was real. That's my really long story. Thank you for listening. Let's show you guys the apartment. I feel like we have to do a little tour. We're just gonna make it super fast because you guys have already seen this place so it doesn't need its own video. So many of you guys are new and found my channel through nursing so maybe you guys have never even seen this apartment. Let's go to the door. So we're here at the door. I have my nice little washer dryer area. Hopefully my little um, cart is still gonna fit in there. It looks like it will. And then on the other side of this closet is a really handy storage closet, which I use all the time because I have so many activities and a lot of stuff. This will be kind of half pantry up here. And then a lot of my cleaning supplies and storage for sports will all be in here. If you guys remember my old apartment, I had a nice little console table here and I actually ended up selling it on Facebook Marketplace like three months ago, which is kind of funny. I was just like, oh my God, you're kidding me. It fit perfect for the spot and they don't make it anymore. So I just ordered a new one on Target and I measured it on the virtual thing. So I'm hoping it fits here. We have the glorious bathroom with my favorite little lights. This has got really good storage under the sink. Also, it looks really clean in here, which I appreciate never want to move into a dirty apartment. That's kind of gross. I think there's only been like one other person who's lived here though. The shower, this was my favorite part of this apartment is that I could turn this overhead light off. And I also am obsessed with the shower head. It's way better than the one I have now. Then we have my bedroom, which looks really dark. These are not lights. There's just a light in the closet. I'll open these up so that you guys can see. It's honestly a pretty weird shape. So you can see it fairly well. I have my closet here. It's got some really nice organizers. I would put my bed here and then my bedside table where I'm standing. Then of course we have this interesting corner because I used to have my leaning shelf. It fit perfect right here. However, I really love my little green spinny chair and I'm trying to bring her with me. So we're just gonna bring all the furniture and kind of try out and see what we like for this corner. It may end up being totally different than before. My little vanity corner desk that my dad built me was right here and it was perfect. I don't know if my mirror will fit behind my door or not. It's kind of small, but we're gonna try and see. We leave my room, there's a little hallway and we're now into the kitchen living room. I love this part of the apartment because it's such an entertaining space. When I'm cooking for my friends in my apartment, I don't feel like I'm far away from them, like down a hall in my current apartment. It really is just like a nice open entertaining space. Lots of storage, this kitchen is actually bigger than my kitchen I have now, which I'm excited about. And of course, this is my favorite backsplash in the entire universe. The lighting is always good here and it's just so me. I love hexagons. This is going to be taken off the wall. I forgot to email them to not put it back up, but it's basically a bike rack. It needs to be removed because I don't have a bike. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this corner. This will be interesting. I used to have my drink dresser here because my dresser doesn't fit anywhere else, but I'm not sure if it'll be like that or not. Window here, I love that I faced both east and I also face south. And right here I had my bistro cafe table from Article, which just fits perfectly. And I always put my couch 
this way and then TV is gonna be right there. That is the tour of my apartment. I'm gonna close this video off for today because that was a lot of rambling. Thank you for sticking around. If you did, be sure to comment the question of the day, which is going to be, what are your moving tips? Maybe there's something I need to do differently. I need some inspiration to get started. Give me your advice down below. I love you so crazy much. Thank you for being a part of this journey and understanding. Truthfully being here for me for almost a full decade. It's crazy. I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon. Me, you know I ain't lying